Hey, what's going on guys? This is Taiba Hassa Kickstart.com and today what we have is the New Balance 2002 in a desert olive-like colors. If you guys know me, I have a penchant for these type of colors. And when I saw it today, as I walked into my Foot Locker, it definitely caught my attention. It was in a display case, so I went to it and took some pictures and this video for you guys. So what you have with this shoe is a combination of multiple layer of leathers. It's pretty much like new buck leather. And on the underlays, it's usually mesh, but it has been replaced by this textile uh, material. Now, I'm not sure how ventilation is gonna work out on this shoe, but the 2002 is an incredible shoe. If you look on the panels there, you can see the, the leather looks almost like tumbled leather, but it's really soft and smooth. Again, the 2002 R is an incredible shoe. It was built to, it was almost reminiscent of 2000s, the 2000s running shoes. So this shoe is incredible. It brings back all types of memories. So again, what you have going on for you with this shoe is the midsole is incredible. The midsole has the absorb and also energy um, cushioning. So what energy does to you is this, like it compresses and it goes back to its original state quicker than any other cushioning out there. So that's what makes this shoe so special. It does not have any air cells, so it absorbs it and then goes back to its original form so you don't get tired as you're running. So again, great, great cushioning and the shoe is comfortable. So what you have from the toe to the back again is multiple layer of leathers. This is like new buck and in between you have the textile material, it has grids on it. And then you have 3M going for you on the laces and portion of the toe area. Now New Balance logo is on the midsection and then your ankle line is well padded. So that means the shoe is really comfortable to go in there. It cushions your foot, it cushions your ankle. It's really nice. Now the tongue is pretty thin, but then it has a layer of foam underneath again to make sure your foot is nice and smooth in there. Now with a, two, a New Balance 2002, as far as like the, the, the sizing is concerned, I think from what I read is through the size. So you're not gonna have any problem. If you wear a size 10, get a size 10. The shoe is really comfortable and this colorway is super easy to wear. So you have two things going on for you, functionality and then looks. Now the shoe costs about 160, that's the only downside to it. It's a little bit pricey, but again, you pay for what you get. All right, so if you wanna grab one of these, I will have a link for you in the description. Thanks for watching. This is Ty from Master Kicks and stay tuned for more stuff.